we've been hearing so many different allegations against P. Diddy, Puffy Combs. You already know it says video footage seemingly shows Kristen and Justin Combs in handcuffs amid raid of Diddy's Los Angeles home. Now, if you guys been paying attention, there's been a lot of things being said about P. Diddy and different people, accusations from different men to Meek Mill to damn near every male artist he's worked with, man. They're saying it's a lot of booty bandit things that's been going on, allegedly. Now, me just being a sideline spectator just like the rest of you guys, I believe none of what I hear and only half of what I see. Being that I didn't see any of those things, I don't know if these allegations are true. What I have known since this business has begun, it's a lot of black entertainers that always get exposed on things. But neither here nor there. People that were inside that mansion at the time that DHS or Department of Homeland Security made entry into this mansion and onto this property. And you saw the juxtaposition of these heavily armed vehicles and those very expensive luxury cars that are parked right on that driveway right there. So clearly a, a very different sight than we're used to seeing. But uh, there you see some of the people that were inside that mansion at the time of the raid. They are being talked to by investigators, by people from the Department of Homeland Security. I could see they're getting their pictures taken as well. So maybe they, they don't know uh, who you know they're looking for or, or who they have in front of them at this point. But again, part of the process of gathering information as to who in particular was on the grounds at the time that they made entry into during this raid. So uh, if we do have a vantage point from the ground there, I'm not sure if we have a ground. My prayers go out to Diddy's family his kids, you know, everybody that's involved in this situation. Um, I hope that these allegations are false. I hope, hopefully, they get to send him home. And if once they arrest him, hopefully they can send him home if he didn't do it. If he did the things that he's being accused of, then, you know, karma is one of those things that always spin the block. So you deserve what you give out. So if you did those things, then you deserve what comes from it. That's just my firm belief of everything. But if he's innocent... Hopefully he gets the justice that he deserves. Hopefully that things come to the light to prove that he is innocent if he is innocent. But if he's not innocent, if he's not innocent, then, you know, karma's just doing what it do. In life, you can't just go through hurting people and wronging people without it coming back to you. So, hey, with that being said, man, if he's innocent, let's pray that he gets right and he's free. If he's not, he gives what's coming to him.